Well, Happy New Year to you. This is our first installment uh, for 2015 uh, for our devotionals. Uh, and I think it would be appropriate to uh, ask the question of uh, New Year's resolution. Do you have a New Year's resolution for this year? Maybe you're thinking about losing weight or reading through the Bible uh, for the first time or just to make sure you do it again or any number of other things you might be thinking about for a New Year's resolution. Uh, one thing I might challenge you to think about, something I'm challenging myself to think about, is if this could be the year that I might have a better attitude towards forgiveness, that I might have a more forgiving spirit. And uh, one of the things that we can think about is it's, it's never too late to forgive, of course, until, until we or the person that we need to forgive passes away. And those days will come where we will pass away and the people that we're in conflict with will pass away as well. So there will come a day where it, it is too late. However, up until that time, there may have been weeks or months or maybe even years that have passed between uh, a grievance between us and another person. It's not too late to forgive or to ask for forgiveness. And one of the texts I think I'd just draw our attention to uh, for this new year is from Matthew 18. Uh, starting at verse 21. Then Peter came up and said to him, that is to say, to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. What's really interesting about this is that in rabbinic tradition, if you forgive somebody three times, you are somebody who has, you are considered somebody who has a forgiving spirit. So when Peter suggested that he forgive seven times, he was actually indicating that he might be even having that much more of a forgiving spirit. But Jesus made it very clear that we shouldn't keep track of how many times we forgive somebody. We should just not think about it at all. So he uses this very large number, 70 times seven, to indicate it's never enough. We should always have a forgiving spirit. And so for this year, 2015, as I challenge myself, I would challenge you. Uh, would you have a more forgiving spirit? Is there somebody that you need to forgive? Is there somebody that you need to repent to and ask for their forgiveness? And maybe 2015's most important resolution will be to either forgive somebody or ask for forgiveness. Because forgiveness is really the core of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are forgiven of our sins when we trust in Jesus. And that forgiveness that we receive through faith in Jesus allows us to have an eternal destiny with Christ forever. That's good news. And that's a great way to start this year off. God bless you and Happy New Year.